Shahzadji, we're also seeing the presence of Khalistani elements in the protests. I mean, how dangerous is this to our national security? See, uh, the entire protest, so-called protest that took place yesterday, it has the links of all Khalistani elements. Firstly, there were people who were wearing Khalistani t-shirts at that protest site. They did not look as if they were from there. They resorted to violence. They wanted to target the convoy of the Minister of State for Home Affairs. They made... The people in that convoy, they threw big stones at him and then they lynched those people after the accident took place. And after that, those elements who are actually involved in this, there is one Tejinder Singh Virk. He's a Samajwadi party leader. And that person has been named by one of the victim's father, Shubham Misha's father. There are other elements also who are eulogizing Bhindranwale, whose pictures have been seen with Congress leaders who are also there. Now, what is the need of Bhindranwale and, and uh, uh, Khalistan in this movement? And immediately after this incident, you have seen Sikhs for Justice, a banned terrorist group. It has come out and supported the entire violence and has said that the solution for this is that we need Khalistan. So this shows that there is a Khalistani link. Even when there was a violence on 26 January, when the national tricolor was desecrated, even when the 400 policemen were there, endorsed by elements antithetical to India, including the Khalistani elements who are, who are basically proxies for Pakistan. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit CITTI.net. Dhanavad Namaskar.